You may have seen in various videos on YouTube that the sun is very large. The largest planet is Jupiter in our solar system. But you may know that the sun is even larger than that. But did you know on the scale of the universe this sun is very small. In today's video you are going to learn about the largest stars in the universe that we have discovered so far. So I am Saurasis Chakravarti. You are watching Astro Saurasis. Without wasting time, let's get into it. The universe filled with stars of various sizes, but the largest stars are wow inspiring. Cosmic giants that dwarf our sun in size, mass, and luminosity. Stars are classified based on their spectral characteristics and temperature. The most massive and largest stars fall into the O type and later evolve into supergiants. All the stars that are like our sun are main sequence star. Stars that have exhausted hydrogen in their cores and expanded significantly are known as giants and supergiants. Extremely rare and massive stars, often unstable, are known as hypergiants. Several stars have been identified as candidates for the largest in the universe, often categorized as Z supergiants or hypergiants. First, we have the most well known star that you probably see in many videos Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is one of the most famous stars in the night sky. Betelgeuse is part of the constellation Orion, which looks like a hunter. If you look for Orion's belt, Betelgeuse is one of the bright star forming a soldier. Is one of the brightest stars in the night sky and shines with a reddish color, making it easy to spot. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant, a type of star that is nearing the end of its life. It's massive. If Betelgeuse were placed in the center of our solar system, its surface would extend beyond the orbit of Jupiter. That's about 700 to 1000 times wider than our sun. It's about 642 light years away from Earth. A light year is the distance light travels in a year. So Betelgeuse is really far away. Betelgeuse is dying star, is running out of fuel, which means it will explode as a supernova someday. This explosion will be so bright that it might even be visible during the daytime from Earth. But don't worry, this probably won't happen for thousands of years. Betelgeuse's brightness isn't steady, it sometimes dims and then brightens again. In late 2019, it dimmed so much that scientists thought it might be about to go supernova, but it turned out to be a cloud of dust blocking its light. Next we have VY Canis Majoris. If you think the sun is big, VY Canis Majoris is a true giant. His radius is estimated to be 1500 times larger than the sun. To give you an idea, if VY Canis Majoris replaced the sun in our solar system, his outer edge would stretch beyond the orbit of Jupiter or even Saturn. VY Canis Majoris is very bright, shining around 270,000 times brighter than the sun. However, it doesn't look that bright to us from Earth because it's so far away, about 3,900 light years from Earth. Stars like VY Canis Majoris don't live long, he's already in the final stage of his life. The star has burned through its fuel much faster than smaller stars like our sun. When it dies, it will likely explode in a supernova. After that, it might collapse into a black hole. Unfortunately, you can see VY Canis Majoris with the naked eye because it's too far away and surrounded by dust. But it's a fascinating target for telescopes. Next we have Stephenson 218. It is one of the largest stars we know about in the entire universe. It's so huge that it's hard to imagine. Stephenson 218 is a red supergiant star and is about 2150 times larger than our sun in diameter. It is located in a star cluster called Stephenson 2, which are about 19,570 light years away from Earth. This cluster is in the Scutum constellation, it is in the late stage of its life as a red supergiant. This means it has burned most of the hydrogen fuel at its core. It will eventually collapse under its own gravity and likely explode as a supernova. After that, it might turn into a neutron star or a black hole. Next one we have U.S. Cuti. U.S. Cuti is a red supergiant, a star in the late stages of its life. Stars like U.S. Cuti are extremely bright and massive but also lose a lot of material into space due to their unstable nature. Eventually, it will shrink and explode in a massive supernova, possibly leaving behind a black hole. Big stars like U.S. Cuti burn their fuel quickly, so they live for only a few million years. A blink of an eye compared to the sun's 10 billion year lifespan. 
U.S. Cardi expands and contracts as it burns to its fuel. This makes its size and brightness vary slightly over time. Basically, in universe, these types of stars are rare because they require enormous gas clouds to form. They burn through fuel quickly, leaving only a few million years compared to billions for smaller stars. Intense radiation, pressure, and gravity make them prone to shedding mass and collapsing. But there are some unanswered questions about these stars. We don't know what is the absolute upper size limit for stars. How do large stars interact with their environments over time? How do massive stars form so quickly? What role do magnetic fields play in the birth of massive stars? What causes some massive stars to become gamma ray burst? The James Webb Space Telescope and other observatories aim to provide more accurate measurements. Ongoing surveys may uncover even larger stars in distant galaxies. So, what do you think about these large stars? I really want to know. Don't forget to let me know in the comments. And also, don't forget to tell me which space journey would you like to go on next. Thanks a lot for watching the full video. See you in the next video. Stay well.